All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. You know, on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day, which is Saturday, but we know that the Sabbath is, is uh, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, right? And uh, from all his work, which he had done, Genesis 2 2 happy Sabbath so that is the uh, picture for today and I wanted to just tell you guys happy Sabbath hopefully you guys are well uh, your week is doing well don't focus on one thing don't focus and I keep telling people this over and over again if you focus on one thing if you're waiting on one thing you're gonna miss everything else that the world has to offer and so I just been beating that through people's heads lately, man, because they have missed people have missed so many things waiting on one thing. And I already know what it is. You guys know what it is. It's a stinking Iraqi dinar. We get it, guys and girls. You're waiting on that. But if you if you're if you're if your whole life is focused on that, you'll miss everything else. You'll miss the Jerusalem becoming, uh, you know, uh, the the uh, the capital now, you know, or or removing the embassy to Jerusalem, right? You'll miss that prophetic event. You'll miss the the uh, anniversary of Israel, right? You'll miss the. I'm not, I'm, is it the 70th anniversary? I'm not sure. Uh, pr um, Princess Bola was talking about it on her video, but you'll miss the the anniversary of Israel, right, as becoming a state. You'll miss or country. Uh, you uh, you'll miss uh, yeah, Israel becoming a state or I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, you'll miss that. You'll miss the Iran deal that Trump, uh, you know, what I mean that that Trump uh, separated, uh, took his hand out of. Uh, well, God said that he he for he he pushed them, not forced them, because we got all have our free will. But God uh, pushed them to 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 get America out of that deal. So he you know, and then of course the uh, prophecy from Clem Clement, where we put our hands in Iran, and then God takes our hands out of Iran, right? So and so we you, that happened as well, okay? And then a whole bunch of other things happened. Iraq's elections. Guess what? They remove the Iranian-backed politicians out of Iraq for the first time in a long time. Okay, so now there's going to be no uh, no Iranian uh, bad poli corrupted politicians keeping the citizens away from their prosperity. That happened. All these things and other events that happen in between, but you guys are missing all of this because you're focused on one thing. And you and that is sad because I just I kept telling you guys don't focus on one thing or you're gonna miss everything else that has happened. So when people are telling me what 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 prophetic thing happened in the last ten days, fifteen days, I I mean my God, I just named a few of them right there, and there was probably a lot more that happened. Okay, did you see the uh, massive volcano that happened in Hawaii? <laughs> I mean, uh, the the lava was just coming onto the grass and ground in people's homes. I mean that was crazy right um and all these other things that have happened are happening around the world okay um so the north korea south korea uh, agreements and stuff and now and now um you know and now the uh north korea saying now nah, we you know we, we, north korea saying kim jong-un saying we don't i don't want any peace with north korea anymore or whatever the case because you guys or did something with America and you guys are shady now. <laughs> so take trying to take that back. Like, ah, I don't want to talk to you guys right now. <laughs> okay. So all these things are happening right in front of our eyes and we need to pay attention to it instead of just focusing on one thing. Um, and that should be common sense, but you know, people are so desperate for this thing instead of just allowing God to just make it happen. You know, what if it never, what if it, what if it, it never existed? Then what? You know what I mean? You wouldn't care. See, you would be, you would actually be focused on everything else that's going on around the world. Pretend it doesn't, is not, is not there, and make it, and make it like a bonus. Like if it happens, oh, it was a nice surprise, right? And that's what I'm doing, right? I might, I might make, uh, you know, I might say something here and there on Twitter about it because, because, uh, 
there's some things that people need to know. But other than that, my focus is not on the Iraqi dinar, okay? Um, you know, my focus is not on the Iraqi dinar. I, you know what I mean? Man, that's why I stopped the videos. That's why I stopped all that stuff. My focus is on the citizens of Iraq. I check out the citizens. I check out what the citizens are saying. I, I check out how the citizens are living, you know, if there anything improvement in their banking. Like, that's what I do, you know what I mean? I check out their market rates and stuff like that and see if they're still in compliance with the uh, IMF. That's what I do. I don't care about the other stuff that's going on. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, you know what's what's interesting is when uh, I was hearing a teaching. I'm not going to mention the name, but I was hearing a teaching, and uh, and it was like, um, and it was about the the, uh, the when God created the world, right? And you know, when God created the world, but first God created us. And I didn't put that together. I didn't. I never put that together. That God created us before He created the, the before He created the world. I just never put that together until that until I heard that teaching. Never have I put that together, you know. For some strange reason, I was thinking in my mind, and it was on default mode. I was thinking God created the world and then rested on the seventh day, and then we were created, <laughs> right? I never, I never had common sense or wisdom to say, wait a minute, we were created and then God created the world. That means that we all were there when God created the world. We saw the world being created as spirits, as angels, as, as gods, okay, as gods of, you know, as gods of the God, right? So we're gods of the God, Abba Elohim, is the God, right? And then the Holy Spirit, and then Yeshua, because of what Yeshua did in the future, right? <laughs> when Yeshua did what he did in the future, he then became the God of the gods, right? With the Holy Spirit and Abba Elohim, right? But back then, when God, when Elo, Abba Elohim created us, we were able to watch the planets and and a Shoel being created. We watch show we watch the angels we watch one third of the angels fall. Like I did not put that together. I did not even think about that. That how ancient our spirits are. We have been here, we as spirits have been on this planet, on this in in these heavens, in the third heaven, second heaven, first heaven, whatever you want to call it. We have been here forever as spirits. Okay, we're just in a body here on planet Earth, right? But we could have been on a we could have been in a different body on planet Saturn, okay? <laughs> but but we God put us in here on planet Earth, okay? And uh, and, and in these bodies, but as spirits, we have been here for before God created the world. You know, God created us and then he created the world. And so we saw the world being created. I just never even put that together in my mind. We are so ancient. We are so ancient, man. It's unbelievable how ancient we are in our goddess, right? Abba Elohim. We praise God for that. And uh, I just never put that two together. Never even put that two together that we saw. The, we saw one third of the angels fall. Okay, we saw that, you know, we saw one third of the angels fall. We saw God create Shoel, hell for, for Gabrielle and, and the rest of the angels that fell. We saw God create the planets. We saw God create the uh, earth. We saw God create the galaxies. And we saw God create these things as spirits, as gods, right? Of the God, right? And so I just never put that together. Never, ever, ever put that together. And this is one of the reasons why when I heard people in Hollywood talking about, I am a God, I got very angry. I was like, how did I dare you call yourself a God? But they are gods. That's the, but they're, the problem with that is that they're idolizing. It's more of an idolization when they say it than actually knowing like, okay, I am a God of the God, right? Because the God, Abba Elohim created me, so I am a God of the God, right? So, I, I, you know, so, but 
they, you know, Hollywood, they do it as an idolization. So I, you know, I used to get very mad when I used to hear people, rappers and all these guys talk about, I am a God and stuff. I know you're, man, you died from a flu shot, bro. <laughs> you know, but I get it. I understand what they, what they mean, but I think they, they twist it in Hollywood to make it seem like of an idolization, right? But I get it. They are, they are saying that they are gods of the god of, of of a god now of course in hollywood their god is different from our god their god is gabriel satan and and his and his demons and stuff that's their god right our god is abba elohim and yeshua christ and the holy spirit right that's our gods you know that's our that's our uh, that's the gods right <laughs> of us so I get it now. I understand it. It was an eye-opening experience for me because I never put that two together. I just, I just thought that you know, um, I don't know what I thought. I just had my mind was on default, and uh, when, when, um, when I heard that, I was like, it just opened everything up. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> why didn't I never think about that? And uh, yeah, so we, we are ancient, man. Our spirits are ancient. You know, these bodies don't last forever, but our spirits are ancient. And uh, that is awesome. Uh, and maybe maybe when we go back into spirit form, we will remember uh, God will put that, uh, Abba Elohim will put that back into our memories on, on, you know, and we will remember that, you know, how God created the world and we how we saw it. We will remember those things. Uh, when we go back into spirit form, so that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, so and I don't re I don't remember a lot of these things. I know there's you know we have these things called deja vu where we like we where we been we know we remember we've been somewhere before. We're like wait a minute, I've been here before, and 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 God allows that, right? God, and I'm pretty sure it it it, it tickles God and the Holy Spirit and and Yeshua when you're walking through a field and let's say. Kansas City or something like that, and you're like, I've been here before, right? I bet it tickles God because they know you have. You've been there before in spirit, in spirit form. We used to, as angels, we used to be able to go and and, and travel around each of the planets and, and, and hang out on the planets and stuff back in the days, right? When God created the planets, we all, the angels were able to come out of the uh, the first heavens and come into the uh, to the galaxies and stuff and go from planet to planet, right? So that's why when when we see when we when we have these deja vu moments, I'm like we. Been here before, man. <laughs> but when was it? You know, and God and God is sitting there laughing, and, and Yeshua, they they remember. You know, they remember they've been here before, right? And so we've all had those moments where we're like, I've been here before, sometime thousands of years ago, right? And you can't put it together because it's been erased from your memory. But God allows you to have that deja vu, which is so special. And it's so and it's awesome to have that deja vu because I've had it several times going to places of places and I'd be like and I just stop and say, wait a minute, I've been here before, man. And it seems like you've been here before ancient years ago. It's not like I've been here before fourteen years ago, twenty years ago. It's like I've been here before like 10,000 years ago, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you know that it's your it's, you know that it's not your body that's been there, it's your spirit. And so it's uh you know, I bet I guarantee you it tickles God uh when when you have those deja vu moments and you're like I've been here before, man. It's probably like 8,000 BC. <laughs> Um, but anyways, let's pray. I uh, wanted to just get that out and uh, talk to you guys a little bit before we pray. So happy Sabbath to everybody. Uh, happy Sabbath Shalom. And uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for just going be able to talk to you, be able to talk to the Eyes Open Media crew about things, knowing that we were created before you created the world. I just never put that together. Never put it together that how ancient our spirits are. And we just thank you, Father. We thank you for all the things that you have done for us. Thank you for just guiding us, protecting us, and healing us from all sickness and diseases. Anybody with sickness and disease, including myself, heal us now. Touch us with the Holy Spirit. Wash us clean with the blood of Yeshua. You can do it right now, Father. You can do it right now. Remove all the demons. Remove all the sickness. Remove all the things that plague us so we can worship you and just act righteous and live righteous and be in that holiness that you love us to be in. 
We thank you, Father. Some of us, Lord, it's all about removing that demon, just removing that stronghold demon that is in us that will keep us in that place of holiness that you love. Do it for us right now, Father. Uh, change our finances right now, Father. Change our finances. Let us be able to have wealth. Let us be able to enjoy life. Let us be able to travel. Let us be able to do things that we want to do in life. Let us be able to bless other people and give and give to the kingdom of God. Let us be able to just live and be happy and righteous, Father, in Yeshua's name. Let us not want just one thing, one investment. Let us not focus on that. Let us know that, that you're going to do it on your time. You're are in control you are in control we need to uh you know bring other investments to us those that are just focusing on one investment bring other investments into our lives bring other ideas into our lives bring other passive passive income into our lives bring other things into our lives Bring business deals, new jobs, new opportunities, new promotions so we can focus off of that one investment. So many investments in this world and many people are so focused on one thing and when it's going to happen remove ourselves from that that is really holding us back from this investment and i talked about it two three years ago i said us focusing on this one investment is keeping us from it coming to pass and it's still the and we come back two three years later father even when i'm when i stop doing the daily videos people are still on this one investment and they don't realize that just focusing on this one investment is keeping it from coming to pass it's just delaying you're delaying it yourself and that isn't that's important to hear because people think oh the government's doing it is corruption here corruption here. yeah that is true but the focus on this one investment from all these people is delaying it itself right and so you have to the focus should be on god the focus should be on the father the son and the holy spirit that's where the, that's where your wealth is that's where your spiritual wealth is that's where your physical wealth is that's where your financial wealth is it's from the father the son and the holy spirit it's not from the iraqi dinar okay that is a one-time event and when it happens and and two years later and the money's gone then what would you do <laughs> You know, so it's like, you know, then what you then you will go to God, right? And say, God, I lost everything. I need your help. No, you should have the, the, the key is you should have been asking God for help right now before, and to not worried about that. Right. So we, we, we want to make sure God is in control of our finances. The Holy Spirit is wisdom. Right. The Holy Spirit is our financial wisdom. So we need to go to the Holy Spirit. We need to ask the Holy Spirit to, to guide us through uh, as with wisdom for financial blessings, financial wisdom. Okay, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you financial wisdom. Ask the Holy Spirit to bring people into your life that will uh, that will uh, plant seeds into your life that will help you and, and bring forth uh, financial prosperity into your life and success. Okay, so that's what we we need to do. Okay, so I thank you, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Yeshua. I thank you, thank you, thank you. We cancel all our dreams. We cancel all negative dreams, and we send them back to the sender, 100 million, billion, trillion, full, pin with the blood of Yeshua and the power of Rock, the Holy Spirit. We cover our families and our friends and our children with the blood of you and our wives and daughters and sons and, and, and our, our uh, husbands, for those that are ladies. And we thank you, Father, for our families, our families in Christ. We thank you for... Those that go to church and have a great church, a uh, Sabbath churches, and and if, for those who are, go to Sunday church as well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'll keep you I'm not gonna keep you out there, but uh you know we bless the churches we we hope that the churches are are solid in you Father and they're not get the, our people out of those churches immediately and guide them into a new church home that they can go to or if you don't want them to go to church and you want them to gather to by themselves as family and friends. And, and do their own services then then that is up to you father but make sure that they are in uh in worship and in a place of holiness and not in a place of destruction in yeshua's mighty name we thank you father for your love your kindness your joy your mercy your grace that you put upon us and we know that we are ancient spirits and we thank you father that means that we as as gods of the god 
we have the power of God. <laughs> that means that we can do a lot of things, but we must be righteous to do these things, okay? We as human beings have the power to shift the atmosphere, the weather. We can do a lot of these things, and this is why they put them in movies and commercials, and they also put them in cartoons, and they're telling you who you really are. <laughs> you have the power to change, to wind, fire, earth. Like you have the power to do these things, but you don't know that you are, of a, a, you are an ancient spirit of, a, you, know, you are a god of the gods. And so they're telling you through commercials and cartoons and movies, but we're not. We just don't get it, right? So, but the also, but the the way to get that type of power, you must be righteous and you must be in holiness right to be able to have that type of power right if you're living in sin you don't have no power you are a dead soul basically right uh, you know so you are living in you're living a, a dead life and you basically and when you live in sin you don't even you don't dream you don't do anything you just you're basically dead dead man walking right so we want to come out of sin and be in righteousness and be in holiness because that's where all the power lies that's when we can heal that's when we can pray better than with authority that's when we can shift the atmosphere that's when that's when we can uh command financial blessings upon our lives that's when we can do all these things when we're in holiness and righteousness so take care take heed to that and be blessed. Happy Sabbath and happy Sabbath. Shalom. Bye. Eyes open.